guys, this is Mateus Kinteri. I'm a professional musician here in Nashville, Tennessee, where playing hot chicken pig and licks is the only way to survive. And today I want to talk about banjo rolls. And uh, what that is, is a roll is a right hand pattern or left hand pattern if you're a lefty uh, that banjo players uh, use. You know, they have several different patterns, different rolls. But when I think about banjo roll on electric guitar, what I think is licks and ideas that will help you achieve a banjo kind of sound. So I, um, I have three licks to show you guys and then I have a bonus one at the end of the lesson that will hopefully help you to understand uh, how to get that sound, you know? And uh, so let's get to it. So the first one, and uh, we're gonna do this uh, over the same progression, the first three licks. The progression is gonna be G, and then C, back to G, and then a D. It's a very uh, common progression in bluegrass music. So the first one, uh, we're gonna use these two notes from the G chord, and we're gonna approach this, uh, this note here on the B string, the D note, with the hammer on from the second fret to the third fret, and our right hand's gonna do That's gonna be sort of the, the pattern. So here's the whole pattern now. That's the whole thing. And then if you do it faster, it's gonna sound like. If you repeat it. Then we're going to apply that same pattern to a C chord, but we're going to kind of use the notes from this C chord shape here. We're going to use these two notes. And we're going to approach this note on the B string with the hammer on from the third fret here. So it's going to be like. So if we do G and C now, it's going to be. Then we're going to go back to G, and now we're going to do D chord. And these are the two notes that I'm going to be using. The third fret on the B string and the second fret on the E string. And it's going to sound like this. I'm approaching it with the hammer on from the second fret again. So the whole pattern. Do the same lick again, a little faster now. So it's very simple, it sounds fun, and, uh, and you can be creative with it, you know, and apply it to different chord shapes. And that approaching note doesn't necessarily have to be in a, in a certain scale or anything, it's just a an approaching note, you know, a passing tone. So let's go to lick number two now. On lick number two, we're gonna do our G chord uh, like this. So we're gonna have a G note on the D string. We're gonna use the G open string and then a D note on the B string here on the third fret. And we're gonna do a hammer on, again, another passing tone uh, on the fourth fret of the D string, so. And here's the pattern now, the right hand pattern. Once again. And then on our C chord, we're gonna do, we're gonna use this uh, C chord shape, and we're gonna use this uh, two fingers here, and we're gonna uh, hammer on from the, the D string open to the second fret here. That's gonna be our, our approaching uh, note, so. Same right hand pattern, same row, so. And now our D chord, we're gonna do a D7 chord now. Use this shape as a reference and we're going to use these three notes here and 
we're gonna hammer on from the D string open as well. So same right hand pattern. So the whole leg now is gonna sound like this. If you speed it up a little bit, it's gonna sound like this. Now our third lick, uh, if you ever played a banjo, the high note that you usually hear is not as we would think as lead as an electric guitarist on the on the bottom string here. It's gonna be on the on the upper string. So sometimes they'll start the roll in like a middle string and then hit the upper note. So I I use I built this lick kind of with that idea in mind. Of course we don't have a higher string like the banjo does, that fifth string that starts like on the fifth uh, fret here. We don't have that, so it's gonna sound different, but the approach, like the right hand pattern is similar to that. So here's our, our pattern, it's very easy. We're not on the G uh, chord, we're not gonna use our left hand at all. We're just gonna use this three notes here uh, from the G chord. So it's gonna, we're gonna start on the G string here. And that's it. Just repeat that, so. On the C chord, we're gonna use these two notes again. Back to G. And now D, we're gonna use this two notes. So the whole lick is If you speed it up a little bit, it's gonna sound like this. bonus lick is going to be uh, something that I adapted from Rocky Top, which is a very uh, classic, it's a standard for, for, for banjo players. So we're going to sort of use this last lick that we, we just talked about, and we're going to add some notes from the, from the melody uh, to it. Here we go. speed it up it sounds like this so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson make sure you guys check out the other free lessons that I have on my playlist uh, if you want to learn more about country I have some links in the description and make sure you guys click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.